what's going on guys? So I'm at Wrap It Up Graphics in Oregon and uh, I've been training Jeremy on how to use Chrome. So we've got the truck pretty much done. We're doing a couple of extra pieces. So what we want to do is obviously full Chrome delete would be nice to do this in, got to do it in black. We thought it would look, look kind of cool in Chrome. So we'll just get it done in gold Chrome. That way the whole front end is all gold Chrome. So when we talk about wrapping a grill, it can be a little bit difficult. We're gonna need some inlays in here for sure because we have some super sharp angles right in here, in the top here, on both sides, and then also these areas here around the emblem, around the sides are pretty sharp angles. The chrome will not hold, so we want to uh, make sure that we're relieving as much tension as we can, and what we want to do is do inlays in these areas. So by looking at this grill, I want to do as few inlays as possible. So I'm going to actually do an inlay on the sides here. And there is going to be a small seam down on this side, but you won't see it in the top side here because of the sharp angle. You might see a little bit down here. Again, it has to be done. Even if you're doing this in like gloss black, you're probably going to want to do it with an inlay somewhere. Now, I could do an inlay across the bottom here, but I think that in this recess, in this bottom corner will be too much stretch. So if I tried to do a relief cut here and try to bend all this in, we're going to have an issue with too much stretch in this area down here still. So I'm trying to get all the bugs off. It's been, uh, it's an old grill. So there's a lot of imperfections on it, a lot of stone chips. So you might see a bit of that through the film. You can actually see all the stone chips that are in it. There's only so much you can do about that. You know, it, it does get weathered over time if you do drive your vehicle on a daily basis. So like I said, it's the purpose of doing this nicely without breaking the finish, making sure it doesn't lift and having it kind of flow with the rest of the vehicle. So it's going to look good. We've got our piece cut already. What I need to do is do the inlays before I lay this piece down. So I'm going to do that with you right now. Uh, I might speed up some of this if it gets a little bit uh, slow because uh, I, do I don't want you to to lose, uh, I don't want to lose your attention here. So we're going to do this. And he's got the heat gun over there anyways because uh, he's just finishing off the front bumper. I don't believe the, uh, the cap is on this. I can't really tell right now. I'll try to maybe peel some of it. No, I don't see a cap, the protective capping on this piece. So I'm going to lay this piece right in there. Super easy, all right? nice and gentle and get it to where we need it all right and then we're going to trim out the excess of course so how far in do i want to go i want to go all the way to the edge on the inside of course so i have full coverage kind of use your finger get it in there use your squeegee if you want whatever and uh, in this corner here i'm just going to push it into the corner without stretching it into the corner all right now I'd rather come a little higher up when it comes to this top section here because when I fold the piece over, I want to make sure that I have enough, all right? So I'm going to come a little higher up and I'll show you this once I'm done. You could use knifeless tape for this. I'm going to cut right on it and just be gentle. I've gained some experience with chrome over time and uh, just cutting it. So, you know, I don't recommend if you're a beginner to cut on your paints or on, your, on the surface, you're going to want to use knifeless tape. You could use knifeless tape. It works with the chrome. It's not a big deal. It works really nicely actually. And this is Vivid's gold chrome, all right? Really all you want to do is score the film and it'll tear right down that line. So my debate right now is do I want to come up to this top edge or I want to stay on the inside edge here? Can't really go wrong with either one. I kind of want to make sure that I'm protecting myself and making sure that I'm, I have full coverage and I don't waste a huge piece of chrome when we do the main part of the grill. So I'm going to do it to the outer edge here, all right? So we always want to follow when we're doing a seam, try to follow a hard body line. Even though this one down here doesn't, it's not on a hard body line, it's still in a recess. So it's going to hide it pretty well. So now I'm going to take the blade and trim off the excess on that hard body line.
It'll be much more difficult to do a freehand cut than use knifeless tape and make it straight. So if you have experienced cutting and you feel comfortable, go freehand. But your knifeless tape will, tape will give you a straighter line. And you don't have to worry about messing anything up. Cool, so that looks pretty. It's right on the edge. You can barely see where it ends. You can see the color difference, but you can't really see the edge of the film, which is cool. That's exactly what we want. So I'm going to do that there, 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 and there. There's four areas. I'm going to do a right around the Chevy emblem here too. So on the sides, hopefully you guys can see that. So right here and right here and right here and right here. All right, so these are very small pieces. They will hold up. They're not going to come off. So don't worry about that. As long as you cleaned it properly and you don't have a lot of stretch, you'll be fine. So it's a little bit tedious to be doing small bits like this, but hey, we've got to do it to make sure that we have a nice product in the end that lasts. And as long as you do them nicely, you won't have an issue. Cool. I'm going to come around a little bit just to make sure I've got the full coverage that I need. Beautiful. I'm going to trim this off. You can see I didn't even cut through. So if I didn't cut through, I want to make sure that I pull on the film and tear it down that scored line. Perfect. That's the way you want to do it. Same deal down here. Let's finish off this bottom edge trimming. Get close and personal with it. You know, look, look at what you're doing. Pay attention to what you're doing and where you're cutting. Super important when you're doing stuff that's this intricate. So all these little details will matter. Cool. So we got a little guy in there right now. So only three more of those and three more of the other ones and uh, we're ready to lay the big piece. Might speed this up a little bit just so you don't get bored. So one more thing like for this area up here is that we don't want to use too big of a piece. It's gonna be a pain, right? So we wanna make sure that we kinda of cut this more to size so I'm going to see kind of where it is. I'm going to use my thumb, mark it, and then cut off that excess, leaving myself with maybe like another half an inch or an inch or so total. What I like to do is kind of lay in that top section first where that hard edge is. That way we're good. And then we bring everything down. Looking good. The film does have some stretch to it, so don't be afraid to push it in there a little bit if you have to. Okay, let's bring it to the outer edge. Consistency is really important when it comes to seams. You want to make sure that everything's symmetrical and nothing looks out of place, all right? Because It'll be very noticeable if it's out of place or not straight or you know one side's different than the other. You know, when it comes to doing a seam or an inlay on the bumper, let's say for example, you want to make sure that the bumper is the same on both sides. Not different. Excellent. Again, I'm gonna trim this off. It'll be very gentle.
I'm more so just adding like the weight of my fingers when it comes to applying pressure like this. Not pushing down with my, my arm or my hand, I'm just letting the blade do most of the work. So can't, I haven't really cut through. And all, I do, all I need to do is get it going and then it'll tear right on that score line. There we go, see? Bingo. Beautiful again. Let's cut the inside piece off. Perfect. All right, guys, let's have a look at the inlays. So I've got to go over it with a bit of heat. But we've got one there. So this is the top. This is the bottom. You can see by the emblem. We've got a couple little guys here, 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 and here. And then same deal on the other side, all right? Uh, that's just a reflection that you're seeing up here. It just, it's just the inlay on that side. So what we're going to do is, and I'll stand this up in one second, and talk about it. So when, let's look at this, when we do a relief cut, we're going to do a relief cut here and a relief cut here, and this bottom tab is going to fold in, and the top tab is going to fold in. Same deal with the Chevy emblem. We're going to do a relief cut here and a relief cut here and this piece is gonna sit and this piece is gonna all fold in. So that's the idea, right? So this is how you gotta think about things when we're doing inlays. When you do a relief cut, how is it gonna fold? I made sure that I kind of overlapped it a little bit coming into this bottom edge and a little bit over the top edge. That way I know when I do a relief cut that I'm not gonna miss anything. Same deal here. I ran it in slightly into this edge and then same with the top. I ran it in slightly up to the top. Just about an eighth of an inch or so making sure that when we do a relief cut, we're not too close and that we have enough and we have full coverage. We don't want to waste the piece and we don't want to waste mostly our time doing it. So make sure you're doing it right. And really look at the, really look at the product that you're wrapping or the panel that you're wrapping and assess it. Think about where you might need to do an inlay because of obviously too much stretch. This would most likely have to be done, like I said, with any kind of material, whether it's Avery 3M, regular films like you know matte metallic or matte black or gloss black or whatever it wouldn't matter you'd have to do this i still have to finish it up with some heat around the edges but other than that that's good so i'm going to uh wait for a moment i'm gonna sorry excuse me i'm gonna need the heat gun and uh, we're gonna get to doing the larger section of this with the heat gun All right, guys, so now that we're uh, 
finish our inlays, what we want to do is do the rest in one piece. Here's the fun part, because doing this on your own is going to be a challenge, especially doing it in Chrome. It's going to be a little bit fun, because as I pull the film, it's good, this piece is going to want to move. You can try to mount this the best you can, so I might push it against, there's a bit of an edge here, I might kind of roll it this way and stretch it across, because uh, there's a bit of a, there's an edge over here that you can't see in the camera, I just can't move it back a little, uh, maybe I'll move it back more, one second. Move some stuff out of the way. Cool. All right, let's get this back a bit. See if we can get a better view. So I'm not sure if that shows up. Ah, it's close enough. All right. Yeah, so you can see the table here. I'm pushing this against the table, probably gonna run the film that way and across, stretch it across this way, all right? So let's do that. It's, we're gonna try to contour the film with as little heat as possible because it's chrome, so we don't wanna overstretch it and damage it. It should be pretty straightforward when it comes to doing this panel or the rest of it right now because now that we've got our inlays, the rest should be simple. So we have our piece cut. It's probably a little bit long. That's all right. It's not too bad. Make sure we're lined up. Make sure we're covered on the top. Make sure we're covered on the bottom. It is close, but we have coverage, all right? Take the capping, the protective capping, which is on it still. I'm gonna remove it. Perfect. We start from one end and go to the other, all right? So like I said, we're gonna kind of push it against that edge of the table. So I'm gonna start by removing the backing. What you wanna do is really set yourself up here, making sure that you're lined up and straight. And you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna flip the grill around because it's curved at the top and it's gonna be easier to Make sure I have full coverage at this, on this section up here because look at it bend this way. So I wanna make sure that I'm making the contour enough around this that I don't have to stretch and ruin the film. It's easy to line up the bottom edge because it's so straight, there's no contour. I'm just gonna end up folding everything over. It's gonna be super easy. But over here, this is where the contour is on the top edge. So we're gonna go that way. Move it back down towards the table, perfect. Let's get this uh, junk out of the way here. Done. So now I can see this bottom edge pretty well. I know that I'm covering on top and we're good. We're ready to rock. So like I said, you will see imperfections in this. It's not perfect. It's been driven a lot. There's like 100,000 miles on here or something. It won't be perfect, but it'll be good. So I want to set myself up, make sure everything's straight. I'm a little bit off. So when you're a little bit off, it makes it a little bit challenging to reposition it because if you're doing this alone, it's, you gotta line it up. So we're gonna to have to bring this part down. Obviously I'm not covered here. Just kind of do one of those. For me, I would rather pull this way because I'm right-handed, I feel like it's more comfortable, but I'm gonna have to pull kind of like my left-handed way just because I can pull it against this edge here. Cool, so it's not terribly difficult. We have to make sure that we're, we're not getting bunched up film around here and stuff like that because it's gonna be hard to get out, see? So we gotta make sure that we're pretty glass across this entire surface. So I'm just looking here to see if I have too much slack up top that I can't work out without damaging the film. I'm gonna stretch it a little bit more this way now. Let 
That should be pretty good. You can kind of lock it in. And work our way from the inside out. All right, always working our way from the inside out. I'm just gonna use my hands because uh, they're just small, it's a small area, so we're just gonna use our hands. You can use a squeegee if you want, no big deal. Cool. So obviously remembering where you put your inlays is gonna be very important. Putting your inlays in, in the, the right spot will help you remember where your inlays are. And if you can't remember, take a picture, or you feel like you might forget, take a picture of it, and then you'll, you'll see it. Um, you'll see it in, a, in an image that you can just bring up on your, on your phone or your camera or whatever. It's gonna help a lot. I used to do that a lot with bumpers until you kind of get used to the way bumpers work and everything else, but yeah. I'm gonna have to stretch it a bit this way, which is gonna be a bit of a pain. Because it's gonna move. So I'm gonna actually take a bit of heat and soften it up so that it doesn't, I can stretch the film or contour the film without adding too much strain to the, uh, to the panel and move the, and move the panel. So hopefully by adding just enough heat, I can soften it up and give it a good, amount of contour without moving this entire panel. Oops, we got stuck under here. No problem. See it, the challenge right there, that's the hard part right there. So it's gonna keep doing that. Let me see how I can tackle this a bit better. I might try to pull it with one hand and hold the panel down. So I'm going to flip it around and show you guys what it looks like on that side. Let's have a look at it. We got a, a chrome, gold chrome grill. It's pretty awesome. All right, so let's now work this side. My phone is going bonkers right now. Give me one second. So now let's work everything back this way. You can guys kind of see this more on this side. It's gonna, yep, there we go. Cool, so that looks pretty good. Pretty happy with this right here. We'll work all that out in a moment. Cool. I'm going to finish off this top corner over here. Hopefully, you can see it. Not too much heat, just enough to make it pliable. It's gonna pull. That 
it's a beautiful corner up here. Now for this, all these wrinkles, I can start working to this center section here since we're going to be cutting it out, alright? towards that side. Perfect. Very good. We're almost there guys, it's almost wrapped. And then we got the fun part of trimming it out and being very careful doing that. Gonna go around all these edges with heat right now and we're going to make sure nothing's everything's kind of set and covered before we do any trimming I'm gonna use heat just to round everything off right around these edges make them nice and pretty so we're going to get into cutting this out right now i need to know exactly where i put my Inlays. Let's get the heat gun out of the way. Doing all right over there? Yeah. You're good. Yeah. So we're gonna outline it. We're gonna find our inlays. I know they're here. This part shouldn't take too long. We should be about 15-20 uh, minutes, and we're good. And so what I want to do right now is I'm gonna take this and trim it. And then I'm going to come across the middle. So I'm kind of starting from the corner. Make sure you're giving yourself enough inside here, all right? Because if you don't give yourself enough then you're not gonna you're not gonna make it. So we're gonna make sure we're covered, right? So I can see that we're good. We're gonna be good all the way down. I'll show you that in a second. Just want to finish up this bottom corner over here. You guys get to see this in a second. It's gonna be wicked. So it's almost done. Should turn out pretty clean. Perfect. We're gonna need a bit of heat, that kind of stuff, to make sure. Everything stays in line. Maybe a little, may, might need a bit of heat for the bottom, maybe not the top. Oh, this is perfect. All right. What's super cool about this is that it's gonna be a gold chrome grill. Like I don't, you don't often see gold chrome grills. There might be a reason for that. A lot of you might not like this, but hey, I think it looks amazing. It's really gonna be like a nice finishing touch 
for the wrap. I'm going to cut off some excess here because it's getting a little bit bunched up. Really take your time when it comes to doing this. You don't want to butcher it now. Making sure that we're nice and tucked. Cool, let's do the bottom here. I'll show you the top on the other side once we get to the top piece there. So let's do this. Didn't really need any heat there. I'll probably need a bit on the top, but no big deal. I might need a bit here also. That's what I'm kind of feeling right now. Let's see. Well, maybe not. Well. the middle out guys because these are your ends to work out from all right or you can work end to end but usually if you have an end and an end you want to work from the middle out you don't want to work everything from this end down to that end I'm using the hard edge of the squeegee just to get that nice little tuck in that plastic piece. You can see how I kind of just go back and forth trying to keep it consistent. Constantly making sure that we're tight to the edge. Amazing. So that is ready to cut this out. I might have to go over and clean it up with a bit of heat just to keep the edges nice and round. But other than that, it's going to look amazing. So as I'm cutting, I'm just trying to make a guide and like keep my hand anchored. I don't want to uh, slip and mess it all up.
nice. All right, so the top pieces, let's get this one out of the way. We'll get the center piece done and then the other side and then we're gonna work on the top piece and I'll show you how I did the top corner on that top piece. So I'm just running my blade when I cut in the recess, all right? There's a nice little recess there between the plastic and the grill. So the grill meaning, it's all a grill, sorry, the black plastic and then the chrome grill, all right? You know what, I'll even turn this around right now so you can see how we do these two pieces. I can work with it this way. So hopefully, hopefully you can see that. You see that guys right here? Yeah, it looks pretty good. See that? So again, I'm just gonna lay it into the corner. That's what I wanna do. Going, I always go into the corner first. Now we just keep everything consistent when it comes to laying this. A little tension on it if you need to or whatever whatever helps you do this get your hands in the position or get your body into a position that makes sense sometimes it's a little bit awkward putting your like you have to put yourself into an awkward position and that's what makes sense all right Again, cutting in the recess, all right? You wanna push firm and keep the blade in that recess, all right? Because that's going to keep you in line. I'm stuck there. All right, let's do this piece right here. Let me just push this down. I got a little excess of trim off there. So let's see what we're doing here, all right? So I can see that I can just kind of come up across the top. I'm gonna to add a bit of heat just to conform it. So I have to come in a little bit. This is where it gets, this piece, this piece gets a little tricky because it's really intricate for, uh, for chrome. But we're gonna get it. And it can be slightly challenging with the grill in the way, the black grill in the way, because you can't kind of pull the vinyl through, which is like why we remove headlights and stuff like that, so we can pull the vinyl through. It's gonna be done either way, I'm getting it. Wicked, almost there. Obviously making sure that we're tight to that edge before we cut. Start, I'm gonna start somewhere in the middle. Finish it off. Really need to make sure I overlap that inlaid piece because if we don't, then we're gonna mess it all up. That looks good.
to get myself into a better angle. Sorry, it's not gonna, I'm gonna be in your way. So you guys can see that on camera. Hopefully, it looks pretty nice. piece here I want to trim off because I don't like it. it doesn't follow a line there we go perfect It's a little longer than 15, 20 minutes to finish it. It'll be a little bit longer than that. Other side now. Well, actually, you know what? In case you get bored, I'm gonna cut out the emblem right now. I know it gets a little boring, guys, so. But if you wanna learn, it's kind of the way to do it. Practice for yourself also. These are not my favorite blades because they're not 30 degrees, these are 45, and they're a little bit, it's not as much finesse when it comes to using them. So let's check it out. All right. Let's check it out in there. So you can see, you can see the seam slightly, but this one up here is almost not even noticeable and it's underneath also. So I could have ran it a little bit more into this recess and it would have been completely invisible. The one down here, it's more rounded so we can't really hide that one as well. But again, the seam doesn't run out to this edge so it's on the inside, it's not as noticeable. Once we stand the grill up and that sits on the truck, I don't know if it'll actually stand there like that. Yeah, it will, cool. 
So you can't really see much as far as that seam down there goes. You can see it when you look really close, but just want to show you guys what is kind of acceptable and what's not. You can check out the edge here. It's a little bit um, bumpy from like removal and stuff like that because the plastic's not perfect, but or the chrome plastic's not perfect, but yeah. It's still gonna hold up nice. That's covered, completely covered anyways, all the way down the edges. I gotta clean this side up still. I'm not done this section here. But yeah, that's it guys. So if you liked it, you think that looks awesome, there's a truck in the background, there's Jeremy doing some graphics right there. We're gonna have to lay on some wicked graphics to break up the chrome a little bit. So it's gonna look wicked. Wait till you guys see it when it's done. The, uh, yeah, the graphics are gonna look really good, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to see that when it's on. All right, guys, yeah, I'll do a full walk around when the, uh, when the truck's finished. You'll get to see it all with the graphics on and everything, the tailgate with the printed chrome and the front grille wrapped and the headlights wrapped and everything's wrapped and even the wheels are getting wrapped, so it's pretty cool. It's a little over the top and it's gonna be outrageously awesome. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks, guys, take care. This is Jeremy.